Okay, so this Nuka Cola doesn't have the jetpack mod. But I think it's the right style for the mission I'm about to undertake. You wanna check it out with me? Let's go. Okay. We have to now return for the Cappy and Haystack mission here. We're gonna to return to Sierra Petrovita. That is the goal. Where is she? Nearby, I think. Oh, uh, I don't want to do a moral combat. I don't want to talk to Fritz. Well, hello there, young Where is she? Come on. Aha! Here we are. Happy hunting! I guess she does look old enough to have been that same girl that I saw in Fallout 3. And here she is. Ten years or so previous. I, guess, I thought it was longer between Fallout, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, but it's about ten years, roughly, according to the Fallout wiki. And so, here she is. She's 26 here. Welcome back here. to Girdershade! She's 26 here, and then when you see her in game, that means she's like 36. Of course, it's been a few years of, of gameplay for me here. It's... Hiya! What you doing back here? Well, to the east there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. Nope. Sorry. If you have the ingredients, I can make the pie for you. All it takes is some flour, vodka, and Nuka-Cola Quantum. Oh no, he's such a cutie pie. He never bothers me. I think I may have sent him off to get killed. I don't remember. Bye-bye now. So there she is at 26. And now you do the time warp again. And she'll be 36, 37, 30. Depends on how many years of gameplay I have going there. I think I'm up to... Well, you know, a good, a good four years. So maybe she's just 40 when you see her here. But remember, the, the game design was shooting for 36. And now let's do the time warp again. I found all the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter? Great. Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka-Cola merchandise as long as I have would get this one pretty fast. The letters definitely spell refreshing. It's simpler than I was expecting. Damn, I was sure the letter spelled fresh ginger. That stuff is great in hot tea with honey, lemon, a little brandy, a lot of brandy. Nice try, but you'd be one G short. So let's just assume it's refreshing. This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the ten numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. Okay, use the keypad. Refreshing! That's it! The door's unlocked! Let's go inside! Brad Burton's office. I only vaguely remember what goes on here. I know that there's some echoes of Mr. House here, but little... Other than that. Hey, I found a telephone! And there's soda. Mm, hey, we found soda and a telephone. That's really enough, don't you think? Where did she go? Wow! This is amazing! Okay, it's a lot of stuff. Nuka-Cola, Quantum, Cherry. Let's search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets. And they'll probably be well hidden. I'm willing to bet they're not going to be that well hidden. I'm taking his globe. Oh, look here. A Nuka World Contest Flyer! That probably would have been... Find the hidden cappies! 
Nuka Cola bottling plant. Row down the river and see the old west. Where is Cappy? Where, where Cappy is hiding? Can you pass his test? Nuka Town, USA. Down near the bug. Great to get this now, isn't it? Down near the bottom of his top mountain, Cappy's enjoying a view of the fountain. Dry Rock Gulch. This hidden Cappy is close to the ground. Look in the place where tombstones are found. To find the next Cappy, you have to be bold. And search where Mad Mulligan pans for gold. Galactic Zone. Walk through the stars and then look around. Your happy friend Cappy is sure to be found. A great space adventure is waiting for you. And under the starport, a Cappy is too. Safari Adventure. Enter the hedges and join the new craze. Find your next Cappy somewhere in the maze. It's no monkey business where this Cappy waits. An animal statue is his hiding place. Kitty Kingdom. Let's blow the text here. Cappy likes hiding up uh, up top near the sky. So, he ain't prepared to tell you about high and then the is fine. Just take it. Nuka Cola Clear. Let's play it. In regards to Nuka Cola Clear production, I think it's obvious that we need to take a step back and examine the facts. Project Cobalt dropped Quantum in our laps, so I think it's best we leverage its potential popularity before someone else beats us to market. Additionally, installing the equipment to produce both flavors would cost us a pretty penny, and I'd rather use the funds to promote Quantum. We also have our Lemon Lime flavor debuting soon, and need to work out how to market two clear-colored flavors simultaneously. With all these factors taken into account, I have no choice but to hold off Nuka-Cola Clear production for at least the next two fiscal years. Is that a reference to Pepsi Clear? I'll bet you it is. Okay. I wish I could have been here before the war. You know, just to see what it was like. Hancock, I gotta type here. I'm taking his clock. Let me get into Brad Burton's terminal. CEO Brad Burton eyes only. Hello, Mr. Brad Burton. Nuka World status closed. Nuka World mail system. Outgoing. Let's go through these in order. We're going to suck up some more. Outgoing mail. To Giles Mangrove, Vault Tech Special Vault. Whoa! Vault Tech Special Projects Division. All of vault projects for sick, demented, twisted, you know, investments in evil. What's the special projects look like? Just want to reach out and say thank you for the work you've done on my private sanctuary. With the installation of the control switch, work is finally complete. Amusing antidote to share about the final day. The engineers need to know where to place where where to place the access switch. Obviously, I wanted it concealed, but where? Then the answer came to me. It should be placed near my greatest creation, the very reason for my success. I think we can both agree that was an inspired choice. Thanks for everything, Giles. The money has been wired to your account. Next to my greatest creation. Secret of my success. 25 hours a day. Okay. From Peyton Huxley, executive assistant. Sir, I have cleared your schedule as you requested for the latter half of the entire year. I can assure you this was no small feat. Also, your medical records have been transferred to Braxton's team and all of the backup copies destroyed. I hope you know what you're doing, sir. If you go through this, this process, process, you may never be able to speak in public again. You can certainly work around that, but your presence has been the driving force behind the Nuco Cola Corporation since the beginning, and I think it will be a great loss. If that were to change. Alright, that's obviously something weird. Outgoing mail. To Peyton Huxley, executive assistant. I've considered your proposal for shutting down the Galactic Zone to overhaul the Star Control mainframe and its robots, and I have to say that I'm taken aback by the suggestion. If there's one thing I've taught you, is that no matter how tough things get, we must never give up. Tell the manager down there, they'll just have to hunker down. You gotta love the word hunker, don't you? Hunker down and make do it what he has. I've poured billions into that park, and I'm not about to watch it trickle away by closing the gates. Trickle, see, soda talk. 
As far as disarming the robots in the park, that's also a no. If things go south at Nuka World, that force of robots is the only protection we have. Cooperating with Grobco is the only way I could have I could get that type of weaponry outside of a military base. So suck it up, Buttercup. He didn't say Buttercup, but it seemed like it. So suck it up and get whatever his name's ass moving over there to fix this problem. Okay, whatever his name. Is. Incoming mail from from LB Shelton, Security Department. Sir, I've done as you've requested and informed all security personnel about our problems with the AFAD group. We're doing the best we can to keep them as far away from Safari Adventure as possible, but we're understaffed. I need every man and woman I can get, but you've assigned 12 of my people to Project Cobalt and have yet to replace them. Any help is appreciated, sir. Have a wonderful day. The reply. Suck it up, Buttercup. Yep. I've started re- Oh, this is to Peyton again. He didn't even reply to that guy. I've started reviewing the hidden Cappy contest details, and I have a question. So, I actually have to receive the contest winners in my office in person? If so, have you considered how Project Cobalt would, could affect that idea? I'll do it for now, but we have to revisit the issue once my transfer is complete. Anyway, I promise you that I will submit the rest of my comments and changes this week. I've been too preoccupied with Project Cobalt, and I certain, definitely, certainly, absolutely put it off for too long. Don't worry, Peyton. If I take any longer, you just tell the marketing team to come after me with the torches and the pitchforks. Incoming mail from Kate Levitt, Beverage Year Division. Sir, I appreciate your enthusiasm over the quantum beverage idea, but I really think we should run the board test before we just send it out to market. The isotope we're using is strontium-90, which is extremely radioactive. It's perfect for the military's application, but even with Rex's purification distilling process, it can be dangerous. Now, I know the bright blue bottles will look wonderful on store shelves, and we stand to make a lot of money with this product, but think of the long-term effects it can have. We already know it causes the imbibers urine to glow. And while others in the beverage air lab find this amusing, I find something like that coming out of my body disturbing. I have a battery of tests I'd like to perform before we release the product to the Washington DC test market. All I ask is six to eight, a six to eight month delay. I wait your answer. Can we guess what the answer? Oh, of course, you know, just strontium 90s, your friend. We to Peyton Huxley, executive assistant. Absolutely love the Nuka condolences fruit and cheese basket you sent out to the families of our early prototype quantum fave Falcon. Quantum flavor testers, they said cheese Nuka condolences? Because they're dead? Great idea. I think I loved the fine print of the health damage waiver you had them sign before they joined up even more. Saved us billions, I suspect. You're at the top of your game, Peyton. Maybe someday you'll be sitting in the big chair. For now, enjoy that shiny new quantum blue Corvega you found parked in your driveway this morning. You've earned it. So this guy's an abject scumbag. I think we can we can say we we've proven from here. Would be hidden somewhere. No way Brad Burton would leave it out in the open. So near his greatest creation, well over it's hard here. To I'm really here. This was, that had a quantum thing around it. Near his greatest creation. This could get to be really... What's in the, the, the safe? Hey, guy got these tungsten got bobby pins. Nothing of interest. Wait, there was something there. Something about, something about Grant Brad Burton's. If we go to up into the G's, I think I saw. I took it all too quickly. We're scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Although we are scrolling, General Braxton's visit. Look, okay. Brad Burton, I didn't fly down from DC to get jerked around. You either sign off on Project Cobalt or I can walk right out that door. 
This isn't like deciding what color bottle to pick for our next flavor, General. You're asking me to take my laboratories, add my beverage years, and basically turn them over to your team. I need assurances that my people and my facilities are going to be treated with the respect that they deserve. You and I both know that's a load of horse shit. Stop treating me like one of your soft drink competitors. I'm here representing the U.S. military. I already told you you'd be well compensated. Now cut the crap and tell me what you're really after. Fine. I want in on the military's Leap X program. What? How the hell did you know about that? Let's just say you're not the only one in this room that can throw his weight around in Washington, General. I've been following the program ever since its inception, and I have to say that I'm impressed. The ability to keep a human in a state of veritable immortality using a machine? Now that's something that I didn't expect from the military. Look, you want me to agree to this proposal, then get me on the Leap X list, and I'll sign whatever you want. I always knew you were a greedy son of a bitch, John, but the last thing I expected to that you were afraid of death. If you know so much about Lee Bex, then you know it's in its infancy, and there are a lot of kinks to be worked out. It isn't as easy as throwing a switch and suddenly you can live forever. Stop trying to talk me out of it. We both know the enemy is developing chemical and biological weapons, and that my beverage ears are the top organic chemists in the world. Our countries are in a race where no one comes in second to general. So you need to ask yourself, can you really afford to stand here and say no? You had this all figured out before I even arrived, didn't you? Okay, fine. You want in on the Leapex program, you got yourself a deal. You know, maybe immortality is what's best for you, Brad Burton. Be a goddamn shame to let that ego go to waste. Nice. So, somewhere here is a switch. Wow! This is amazing. Look at that! Mr. Brad Burton, you were one sneaky devil. Elevator. This is so exciting. You coming? You're not coming? All right, fine. I'm going down. There's not a lot going of up. Going up? But we, but it looks like we're going down. Whoa, teleportation. Wow. What is this place? It's Let's a vault. take a closer look. A cl you want to run into a vault? A vault tech vault? Got a soda over here? Yes. Nuka Dark and a Nuka Cave token. Ooh. So Mr. Brad Burton's probably using the same kind of sort of tech that Mr. House was using in some fashion. Nuka Cola Victory. He has some soda. An undamaged camera and a clean coffee cup. Those are special things. A lot of this stuff will make good, uh, good laser weapons later on. What do you think is in here? Oh, I'm guessing, Mr. Bradburn. Hmm. Now this looks interesting. Come on. Yep. What on earth? Wait. No. It can't be. That's John Caleb Bradburton! Or at least it's his head. Wow! Who... Who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god! It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything! This is such an honor. You there, with the pit boy. What are you doing here? You there, with the pit boy. What are you doing here? This 
whole thing is Sierra's idea. She came here to solve your hidden cabbie contest. The hidden cabbie contest? It all seems so long ago. Another lifetime. That was before I became this monster. Before I was trapped here for centuries to suffer in solitude. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. <laughs> yeah. Who was General Braxton? He was one of the top men in the Army Research Laboratory's Weapons and Materials Division. He'd taken a keen interest in my quantum mechanics research and offered me a trade. In exchange for my assistance on a top secret weapons project, he gave me access to an experimental process that would artificially extend my life. Like a fool, I leapt before I looked. I've certainly paid the price for my short sightedness. A lot of other things. Um, a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them. On one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! Let's go the good route. Yeah, if our places were reversed, I'd probably want the same thing. Then I trust you will honor my wish. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. <laughs> I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Let's see, what's the- Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. Got a point. But I want compensation for the prototype ammo I won't be getting. Well, uh, I do have one thing that might interest you. I've got a limited edition Nuka Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but. Well. I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka Cola jumpsuit? Ha! <laughs> That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours, but I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka-Cola? Okay. Definitely a point to save there. Now what do we do? What do we do? What's the good thing to do here? Can you imagine being trapped like that for centuries? The trick is, is he did a lot of really immoral things. And what, what better punishment? Hey, Sierra. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what's your decision? It's 
to heaven to say. I'm still thinking about it. Just please think carefully. If you shut off the power, there's no going back or changing your mind. Hi, Sierra. <laughs> Almost afraid joking her ask, but what's your decision? What about the secret Nuka Cola formula you think is locked up in that vault? That was before we found John Caleb Bradburton in the flesh. Well, mostly. Who knows? Maybe he'll tell me the Nuka Cola formula himself, along with all kinds of other things. <laughs> that would be incredible. Please tell me that you'll let him live. You know, I can't do it to Sierra. Sierra is a good person. This is all she has in life. And if it means that Brad Burton is a miserable person for another century or so, or three... I'll accept your offer. I won't shut the power off. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're doing the right thing! After all, this is a great man we're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a living legend to talk to. Good luck running Nuka World! Is that the good ending? Can we talk to him? I commend your diligence. It can't have been easy to find your way in here. I'm pleased to know that even now, the legacy of my work is still appreciated. Sierra has made that very clear to me. You can't know how wonderful a real conversation can be until you've gone without one for a few hundred years. So maybe he's not suffering terribly then. We could take some drinks, but you know, it's nice motorcycles here. Brand new Corvega. Oh, what's here? Oh, there's it. Yeah, cock. Acquisitions. Merle's very cherry soda. New name, Nuka Cherry. Virgil Formula is a local home-brewed, pure cherry soft drink. Made slight adjustments to formula, but otherwise left flavor intact. Mixed with Nuka Cola and then enhanced with color to boost visual appeal. So that's, that's Nuka Cola Cherry. Grape Pearl Soda. Oh, they stole all their, their sodas. Original fo so formula sold overseas. Flavor profile virtually unchanged. Slight ingredient adjustments for cost purposes. That's inferior. Full rebranding and repackaging completed as per Nuka Cola marketing. Sharon's Down Home Country Lemon. Now there's your patent holders, so they're just stealing them. Original formula holds promise, but ingredients are quite expensive. Don't recommend use of current formula for cost-effective production. We'll try to work out the kinks to get the flavor ready as soon as possible. That was the one you work on. Project Cobalt. Packed full of Joe. General Braxton stopped by my office today. I already knew he was coming. Nuka my contacts in Washington, D.C. saw that. And he asked for exactly what it's for the use of Nuka World's beverage years for a military chemical and weapons program. I told him I'd do it if he gave me the information on the military's LEAPX, Life Extension and Prolongation Program. The look on his face when I asked that was priceless. As expected, he said yes. The moment the LEAPX data arrives, I'm putting a team to work on it right away. It's obvious that this world is headed for the end, and I intend to outlast it all. And he did! I had vault -Tec modify my personal vault to accommodate the machinery required to keep the Leapback system running. It's costing me a fortune, and I've had to divert money from the amusement park. But who cares? My money, my money in the park won't be worth anything when the world is a smoking ruin. I've flown a few of Leapback's researchers down here to make sure a, a prototype works. How about they're glad to still have a job, seeing as all the military's money got diverted to wartime resources? I'm hearing complaints from my Nuka World team about the cutbacks, but they'll just have to make do because screw everybody. Mecam's work with the Project Cobalt struck gold. His team came up with a custom isotope based on strong men he's calling Quantum. He believes he can use the isotope to weaponize almost anything in the military's arsenal. He's come up with a few prototypes like the Nuka Nuke. And we've even used the Quantum to enhance one of the military's power armor suits. Ironically, Meekum believes he can use this isotope somewhat safely as an ingredient in a new Nuka-Cola soft drink flavor. 
by reducing most of the harmful effects of the isotope. How do you reduce the harmful effects of an isotope? It just throws off gamma. The quantum will actually glow longer than the ingredients we use in quartz and victory. In fact, I've told Nikon to start distilling it immediately and call it Nuka-Cola Quantum. Because you want to drink strontium-90. The original intention of Leapex is to create a living biosuit to preserve my body after it would be normally expired. But now I've been told by those idiots at Leapex team that it's not possible. Leapex requires so much power and so many special components it can only accommodate no more than 15 pounds of organic matter. That leaves me no choice. If I want to prolong my life, I'll have to have them preserve only my head. I've told them proceed, because honestly, that's just no faith whatsoever there. This guy has no faith in an afterlife. I haven't come this far just to give up and wait the inevitable. This is my final entry. Today I will be undergoing the surgical procedure to have my head removed and transferred into the leap-back system. If anything should happen, I've instructed Peyton Huxley, my executive assistant, to handle my affairs. Peyton is the only one outside the leap-back team who knows about this procedure, and I am entrusting him to visit me daily and keep me informed of the events happening on the outside of the vault. You know, that didn't happen. So now I know what you're saying. Let us consider for a moment. Okay, let's save again. Now this one here, Brad Burton's office, that's the, the go back point. New save. We do a load. We have to we have to see what happens if we get the power. Let's break her heart. And I'll probably reload the old save here. Hi, Sierra. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what's your decision? No deal. I want that prototype, and I'm going to get it. You really want to condemn one of the greatest minds of his generation? Hancock job, liked it! Even though I've offered you a better option. And just so you can get your hands on a weapon? <sighs> Guess I didn't realize you were so cold-hearted and selfish. Fine, then. Destroy one of our... Our national treasures! Shut off the power, kill him, boop! <laughs> Sierra. I can't believe someone as smart as Mr. Bradburton would be fooled into thinking you could live forever. I guess he was terrified of growing old. Okay, so what do we got here? The Nuka Nuke! The Nuka Cola formula. You can give the Nuka Cola formula to Sierra. You wanted the Nuka Cola formula? Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful, but don't think this means I've forgiven you. You killed the man who was my greatest hero. A man who revolutionized the soft drink industry, and whose creations put smiles on a million faces. Who the hell are you to just walk in here and destroy all that? choice and I respected that choice you should too I I guess so it's just that never not in my wildest dreams did I think I'd get the chance to talk to mr. Brad Burton in person to get an opportunity like that and then have it snatched away it hit me pretty hard still I can't overlook the fact that for one glorious shining moment I got to meet the man who invented Nuka-Cola I'll never forget that not ever and it wouldn't have been possible without your help thank you now that you've got the formula for Nuka-Cola what are you gonna do with it I'm not a chemist, but I might try to brew some up, just for fun. If that fails, well, I still got a new centerpiece for my collection. Here. I know it's not much, but 
You really went above and beyond the Call of Duty. I think I'll stick around here for a while and see what else I can find. By the time I'm done, I'm going to need a much bigger building to house my Nuka-Cola museum. So she kind of gets over it. So we got Brad Burton's safe key, the Nuka Nukes, the Nuka Nukes schematics. Yeah, yeah. I'm, it's, I'm taking this stuff. I'm not, I'm not even taking this stuff because it doesn't matter. I'm not going to. What we need to know, the, there's a plasma pistol, a Nuka Nuke launcher. Now that's inventory. What is the Nuka Nuke launcher here? Damage, 831, three Nuka Nukes. You only have three Nuka I guess I can make more Nuka Nukes. But, still, definitely the dark side ending here, I think. I don't want to, I really don't truly want to uh, euthanize the man. Let's see, we can go back to that, to, to, to do it over again. But I think here, load that game. Load the game where I didn't cut the power. You can still talk to the man. Let's double check. Still breathing? I won't deny that it's nice to have some company again. Okay, so here we didn't kill him. It's completely inaccessible, except for, you know, probably some kind of codes. I'm going to see what else I can find in this place to add to my collection. And, you know, I prefer to work in a realm, you know, I guess we could take the, you we could, you know, we could do. We could just do one, one thing. Okay, making sure we have that save at 12 minutes. Matter of fact, let's do another quick save here. Let's do a quick save, another new save. Load. Let's go to the broken, the broken ending here, the sad ending. Let's load the, we have the Nuka Nuke, and then see what it looks like. That would be the best, you know. Go out with a bang. Nuka nuke. We are gonna nuka nuka nuke do 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 nuka do 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 nuka nuke. Going up. Nookity, nook, 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 nook. All right, so you go all the way out here. And again, no consequences here. This is in, this is in multiverse kind of thing where it didn't really happen. Come on, load it up. I got the nuke, 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 nuke. Okay, here we have it. We're out here. Let's say, um, Hancock, I get out of the way if I were you. Let's just say we. Let's back up a little bit and nuke nuke. Okay, so it's a bright blue explosive. Looks like a blue nuke. What does this guy got? Transfer. Perception. You mean these guys don't carry sharp stuff? Oh, they're, now the fancy suit has a plus one to charisma. So maybe, but doesn't that, you know, so I look at my own, my apparel, if I look at my, um, I got a plus one of charisma on that anyway, so that's, that's a whole, all right, so here's what we're going to do, though. We found out it's a nice blue glow, but you know what, I think the better ending, I'm going to make an argument for this, is this one. If it ever loads. Load this game. This is the game where 
I decide to let him live. Okay, let's make sure it's the right save. Are you still alive? I won't deny that it's nice to have some company again. Okay, he's still alive. Now let me explain to you why I think this is the good ending. This is the way you should do it. Here you have John Caleb Bradburn. He was a terrible person. A self-centered, you know, greedy, megalomaniac who completely disregarded whatever he was doing and how it would impact the world. But he has spent 200 or so years making up for that fact by just abject suffering. I mean, he's done his bit for, you know, for I think he's paid his dues, ending up through the, not only just random, you know, just right, random chances of fate, but by his own efforts, he worked at this, and he got himself where his head is in a bowl of jelly. So now all he wants is death, because all he knows is loneliness. Now over here, where'd she go? Not her, there she go. This I'm is... I'm going to see what else I can find in this place to add to my collection. Here you have Sierra. Sierra, for the last, as we know of it, for her whole life, really, has such a lonely existence, she, she builds her, uh, she builds her entire existence around soda. This is how lonely this woman is, okay? All she cares about is essentially this soda and that guy. And now she can finally have someone she can talk to about the only thing she has any passion about. It's the only thing he has any, ever had any passion about. This is a marriage made in heaven. And look, you know, you got to appreciate the corporal works of mercy that are going on here. Where she's willing just to stay with him, just to keep him, keep him alive, keep him from, you know, being miserable. And if she could keep him from being miserable, wonderful. And if not, well, hey, listen, how long can the stuff run, really? How many hundreds of years can you have this? But I think, I think if Sierra wants to spend her time with Brad Burton, and he seems happier... I commend your diligence. It can't have been easy to find your way in here. That's that's happy enough. Guess I'll be heading home soon. Not much left for me here. Um, Sierra. This trip was totally worth it. I'm so glad I came here. But not much left for you. You're supposed to stay with him and talk. Someday I should write a book about all this. And before you ask, yes, you'll be a big part of the story. I think that was a glitch. I think that was a, uh... We'll have to come back at some future point. Gotta be real crazy or real tough to survive out here. At least that's what worked for me. Yeah. That was very reminiscent of, um, what you call it? Hunter Thompson had a quote like that. Can we activate this? Nope. We got the pit boy. We should be able to activate that. I'm not going to take all those special Nuka lunch boxes in the Nuka car and the Nuka this and the Nuka that. We're going to let Sierra collect it for, because honestly, Sierra, poor Sierra. We'll have to come down here at some future date. Maybe after we've restored power to the park and see if Sierra is still down here. It'd be so funny if she'd abandoned him. He was just lonely again. That would be just, you know. That would be complicated. Oh, let's take a typewriter. Bet you that seems some fun this day. A typewriter? Really? What's in here? The bathroom. Kind of a letdown. Scoop dee doop dee doop. And Let's not forget for a moment here that Sierra's home with her little, her little, uh, you know, museum, not a good place. No, no, the, the DC wasteland is much worse than it is up here. So she's, she's better off. She's going to have a much better life staying here than wandering back miserable to, to that hovel that she has down in DC. So I think this is a win-win. This is the way to go. And the only way... I can think to really end this at this point because it's like I don't want to go anticlimactic here, and although it seems inevitable, is to give you end you with a montage. Well, end that end you. I'm not gonna end you. I'm gonna end this video for you with a montage of finding cappies. <laughs> On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.
This is a weird game. Alright, Hancock, let, let's take off. Why is there a power armor at the Nuka station? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so where's... That had... A, I'm in power armor, but where's the... Is there another power armor here that we left? Or is there one to be found? I don't remember parking one out here. This could be a whole... Here's a little coda to the whole thing. There's an elevator down. What the heck is this place? Oh, this is the entrance to the whole gauntlet. So I haven't done this in a while, obviously. Okay, how do we get out? Oh yeah, this is where you came in. Okay, let's let's just fast track ourselves to the cleared Nuka station. And now it's raining. Okay, where's well, where's this power armor? On the map. So to your left. Oh, that's behind me. Okay, I somehow went to the wrong... The other left! Is it up there somehow? Well, you know, we're just have to come back with jump armor here at some point. See if there's something on the roof. And only one thing really left to do. The Nuka World jumpsuit. The Cappy glasses. I wonder what, what, what did you get from it? Damage resist, intelligence, and... Persp and uh, that looks like it's the same thing as any of the other repair jumpsuits. So you get a boost to intelligence and perception. Some things that Sierra probably could have used. I don't know. Can't be glasses. So now this is how we'll remember you, Sierra. Although we can always just come back and visit. Well, I'm sure we'll come back and visit. And the bonus material for this video is going to be clips of me searching for cabbies. Yes, that's right. If you are flummoxed by any of the locations and wanted some hints. Here you go. <laughs> on that uh -huh. note... Got another one. <laughs> on that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Looks like he's moo-walking. Aha, got another one. Nuka Cola Quartz and refreshingly patriotic Nuka Cola Victory. For those that prefer a timeless root-based beverage, they pick up a delicious Nuka Cola Wild.
clue number seven. Eight clues, almost done. That's clue number nine, one left. And that's all ten clues. Better get these back to Sierra and see what you can make of them. <laughs> 